Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer. Featuring the uh, teams in that big tournament going on right now. This is random country break number 7 from a fresh case. And we sold 12 spots, all card chip, and everyone gets two countries from that list below. So big thanks to this group here. Let's double you up. There's all the countries right there as well. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Two and a five, seven times for names and countries. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and final time. We got Roger down to Dayton. All right, seven times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, and I said seven, right? Yeah, once more. Seven and final time again. And we got Hungary down to Russia. All right, Roger with Hungary, Joshua with Ukraine, Pascal with England and Slovakia, Joshua with Switzerland, Pascal with Turkey, Dayton with Germany, Alex with Spain, Joshua with France, Pascal with Portugal, Alex with Scotland, Joshua with North Macedonia, Pascal with Denmark and Croatia, Brandon with Austria, Dayton with Finland, Taylor with Italy, Brandon with Poland, Taylor with the Czech Republic, Dayton with Wales, Joshua with Sweden and the Netherlands, Roger with Belgium and Dayton with Russia. All right, let's alphabetize this by column B. And while you're considering trades, um, let's pop open this fresh case and let's see, let's see what happens. All right, so here's the fresh case of Mosaic. All right there, you can kind of see the label right there. up into two box stacks here. You can see those two boxes on the top camera right there. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six on the dice roll. And let's use let's use that nice Liverpool red right there. And it's one. So the very left box, the very left stack right here is the one we're gonna do. So we'll put the die right in front of there. These we'll save for next time. Next time I'll just I'll just grab two random boxes. It's as random as it'll get. All right. So now let's go back to this list right here. And Dayton's wondering if uh, if Portugal's available. I'm not sure if Pascal's here in the room right now, but we'll pause the video and allow for a little bit of trade chatter. When we come back, we'll see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back, folks. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. These names kind of printed out kind of huge on this list right here. All right, next box. Good luck. Big quarterfinals matchups coming on tomorrow. Don't feed the trolls, Dayton. That's what they want. 
Um, tomorrow we got some great uh, got some great quarterfinals matchups coming up. So I'm very excited about Friday and Saturday. We'll have some two big quarterfinals matchups. Uh, I had Portugal and France as as a couple of my my picks to move on. Unfortunately, they're they're they have not moved on. Um, scoot this over here. But I do have a little investment on Switzerland, on Italy, and Denmark. So I feel pretty good about that. At least I got some teams in on the mix. Of course, I I personally I would like to see. Uh, Personally, I'd like to see England get into the action, but I do not have an investment on them. Yeah, England, I Italy, Belgium, that's, that's going to be a fun match to watch. Although, I don't know, Euros can get weird. Um... I feel like it'll be like this the the most unexpected match will end up having like five goals in between the two teams. I feel like that's how it goes. Here's a nice parallel here. It's key for more, one out of forty nine. Yeah, I'm 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 a I'm a fan of dogs, PJ. I always chasing the underdogs. Favorites, favorites are too uh, too easy. You can see Mason Greenwood in on the action. Jaden Sancho, we were just talking about this yesterday. Uh, Jaden Sancho is now, I think, pretty much. He announced this morning, pretty much uh, a Manchester United player now. Yeah? yeah, he is. And there's a nice mosaic parallel, Cristiano Ronaldo. That's for Portugal. Gareth Bale, might go to Galaxy? Gareth Bale might come to the Galaxy? Yeah. Wow. That'd be, that'd be cool. I feel like Gareth Bale would crush it in MLS. Another Liverpool player here, Portugal's Diego Diogo Jota. So yeah, England has a lot of exciting young players. Here's another England player coming up, Ukayo Saka, right here for Arsenal. It's pretty solid. Not sure if De Bruyne is available for the match. Yeah, 72 million pounds. That's a lot. Although the fee could have been higher. I feel like last year, last year didn't Manchester United or someone offer like over 100 million pounds? So I feel like they, you know, they had a friendlier fee. There's Gareth Bale right here. Remember, all cards ship. So it might be worth taking a look at some of these rookies or holding on to them because, you know, in the future, you never know what might happen. There's uh, Filippo uh, Inzaghi. Forza Azzurri. That would be for Taylor in Italy. A lot of fun inserts here too. Yeah, worth looking up a lot of these rookies and stuff like that. And I think we were discussing this yesterday too. I think uh, I think Manchester City will actually get a little bit of that, a little piece of that transfer fee because they had a deal with Dortmund. When they when they moved Jaden Sancho from England to Dortmund, so it's somewhat ironically, 
uh, Manchester United are gonna are gonna put some extra money into the pockets of uh, their rivals, their inner city rivals. In inter, inner, intra, inter city rivals, inner city rivals, whatever the word is. Wow, PSG's looking to get Ronaldo or Pogba? That would be crazy. Lionel Messi is technically a free agent too, although I have a feeling he'll he'll be uh, he'll be back with Barcelona. Alright, next box, good luck. This is Cristiano Ronaldo. Pretty solid Portugal, Phil Foden. Let's see if he can make some magic happen for England. There's Eden Hazard. I think, I think Hazard is, some of the guys are talking about Eden Hazard in the chat. I think he's healthy, healthier. Because I think he played the last match. Um, I'm not sure about Alex Witzel. I feel like De Bruyne is okay too. I think he should be healthy. There's Jaden Sancho again. And a Mosaic Silver rookie. Josuiak. For Poland, that'll be for Brandon. The Jaden Sancho, of course, goes to England. That'll be for Pascal. So if Jaden Sancho has a good rest of the tournament, you know, and goes to a high-profile club like, officially goes to a high-profile club like Manchester United, I think it is pretty much official, if not officially official. The value of that card could go up. Sergio Ramos with PSG. I'm not a fan of the Sergio Ramos. <laughs> I'm a bit of a dirty player. Ooh. And a Robert Lewandowski out of 25. Nice fuchsia parallel here. That's for Brandon in Poland. Yeah, no, not far from my favorite player. He's had some run-ins with uh, some Liverpool players in key matches, which I was not a, a fan of. That red parallel not numbered, but that'll go to Russia. All card ship. It's Phil Foden. I'd rather have him bite ears. You don't. You don't need your ears to play soccer. But uh, but if you're Mo Salah, you kind of need your shoulder when you're running around. Can't have that hurt when you're pumping your arms, running up and down the pitch. I would have rather had uh, Sergio Ramos bite his ear. That would have been better. Well, the grudge has softened since since, since uh, Liverpool has won a Champions League. But if they hadn't, yeah, it would would be holding a much stronger grudge. True, Suarez did beat it, did bite a shoulder, right? Still, not a not an injury that that would knock him out of the game, like like Mr. Ramos. 
Nice Christian Erickson. I don't know if he's gonna play soccer again, but but I'm glad he's uh, glad he's okay. It was a really scary moment to start the tournament. Pascal with Denmark. Imagine if Denmark had Christian Eriksen. Right, there's Andy Robertson, Liverpool man, right there too. Kieran Trivier and Kylian Mbappe for France. Kind of a shocking exit for this team, but. It's a lot of drama happening around that club. Like parents are yelling at each. I think like Mbappe's someone else, someone some other French player's like mom was yelling at Mbappe's dad about the pen. It was a whole thing. Anyway, that was 2020-2021 Panini Mosaic UEFA Euro Soccer two box uh, break number eight, random country break number eight. Thanks for watching. I'm Joe. I'll see. Oh, actually, this is break seven. Break eight coming up a little bit later. I think the. Change the title on the, on the list here. Break seven. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. There'll be some more later in the store. I'll see you next time for the next one on jazbeescasebreaks.com.